Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and in this video we will discuss about the loss and optimizers in the uh, deep learning, right? In the neural networks, what they mean and how do we use them? Why do we use them, right? So, but before that, I want you to know if you are working on any uh, project related to uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, data science, all of these domains, you can contact me on the WhatsApp or email to discuss about that. Uh, and you can just fill out this form also so that I can contact you within 24 hours. Okay, let's get started with the video. This is a simple uh, neural network. It has some hidden layers, the input layer and the output layer. And when the, uh, you can say, uh, model predict or start learning uh, something on the data, it will make a prediction, right? It will make a prediction in this output layer. In the output layer, you will get a prediction. Now, in the prediction, that prediction will be uh, you can say a uh, far ahead from the actual value right so there will be a loss function to calculate the error in your prediction how much error uh, it is deviating from the actual value yeah. and to uh, after calculating that error which is being calculated by this loss function we again uh, back propagate in the network and update the weights what are weights all of these neurons had some weights associated with them at the beginning of the training they will be random weights but whenever uh, when the training starts and epoch will uh, grow like epoch will increase or the number of steps of training will increase uh, these weights will be fine-tuned uh, with the help of uh, this uh, optimizer right here in the back propagation we use optimizer and the feed forward is the prediction is the is the way that a model predict that uh, using that weights now there will be a loop about that so we first feed forward then we calculate loss to minimize that loss we update our weights then again feed forward right and that's how training works in the uh, neural networks okay now i am going to show you some examples for which you uh, we can use the loss function and optimizer and don't get confused about uh, the frameworks uh, i'm showing uh, showing you for the tensorflow but it's same almost same for the uh, pytorch or any other frameworks you are using mainly there are two tensorflow uh, and pytorch uh, but there is nothing to uh, like uh, discuss about frameworks in particular they are both uh, can do uh, anything any work for you it totally depends on uh, yourself that whatever you are want to use the concepts will be same this training concept will always be same in the uh, neural network first uh, predict then calculate loss then optimize it to reduce the loss that's our target to uh, reduce the loss okay now for the uh, loss you can just say, uh, search for uh, loss in uh, tensorflow loss in pytorch whatever you are working on there are many options okay, uh, you can use uh, so how how do you like uh, uh, select a particular loss function for a problem you can just search for loss function for regression problem if you are working on uh, regression and if you are working on classification then go for a classification loss problem right uh, there will be many options uh, you can find out here right so according to your uh, scenario of your working uh, project right uh, you have to decide whatever to use but mainly the Adam will work for you uh, in the uh, this uh, where it is the optimizer the atom will work for you right and for the loss uh, if you are working on image classifier then there will be a loss which I use yeah sparse uh, categorical cross and uh, 
entropy so this laws will work for you if you are working on a classification problem okay and same thing for the uh, optimizers their function is to update the weights in order to reduce the uh, loss right and the loss is a way to determine uh, how much error is present in your prediction that's the main uh, goal of both of them right and they are being collectively used in here in the neural network right so th like big part of training is uh, this uh, loss function and optimizer and their function is i have told you okay so that's it for this video now uh, i hope you guys can uh, get some insight from it and i'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching